Yo, what up? How you guys doing out there today? This is your boy Roto Beast, and I'm here to present you my MLB picks for Thursday, September 6th. If you're new to this channel, please make sure and click the subscribe button below. This week, you can watch all my MLB, NBA, and NFL videos. If you haven't already, come check out my new website at www.dfscheatsheet.com. We have all the tools, including a complete optimizer, tons of content such as this video, everything that you need to help compete, uh, help you compete with the pros day in and day out. Like I said, check out the site, www.dfscheatsheet.com. So, hey, I'm just going to go through this quickly. Tomorrow's first day of football. Definitely going to be throwing a couple lines into football. Um, still wanted to go over this uh, uh, MLB slate with you. I mean, it's only a four-game slate. I think they made it a – and it starts early, so just uh, note that. I think they did that because they know football's coming on, so nobody's going to watch no baseball tomorrow. So, yeah, so we're just going to quickly go through it. Like I said, not going to spend very much time. I at least wanted to get you guys something. Um, so before we jump in this real quick, if you don't mind, please take that quick second – Click the like button for me down below. Helps me out. I really, really appreciate that. Also, I got a couple spots left, um, you know, on my NFL um, season-long pre-order special. You 200 bucks. You get, um, you know, cash lineups for every main slate for FanDuel and DraftKings, all season plus playoffs. Plus, you get complete access um, to the optimizer. Um, you know, you can go to NFL. Um, you can still do MLB, do NFL with it now as well. Um, you can play any slate that you want from FanDuel or DraftKings and NFL. Um, you know, all this for one price, you're going to invest 200 bucks to make thousands with me. Um, that's what we do. That's what the money team does. Had a great year last year, and I don't see us slowing down this year. So, hey, come get it in with us. Go get the NFL package. We got the um, – chat room up now chat room is going pretty well uh people are very very excited so definitely you know nfl tomorrow go check out uh check out that uh nfl luxury box special um on dfscheatsheet.com and yeah let's go so i mean we're gonna start pretty much with zach greenkey going against atlanta um it is in arizona a hitter's park and there's a lot of really good lefties in that atlanta um batting order but a green key's been pitching well we know he pitches better at home um, so i definitely think that he's a really good play and um, then we got strasburg i mean the guy's been really really shaky scares me a little bit especially in this spot against chicago um the cubs you know they have some hitters they're healthy right now they're, they're definitely getting back in the, the swing of things and uh, i just don't think this is a very good uh, spot for strasburg yes i mean he can have a solid game don't get me wrong but, I mean, I'd rather take my chances with Grinky on this one. Um, and then a couple of just GPP guys. You can look at Shane Biber um, for Cleveland going against Toronto. Toronto, I mean, they absolutely killed me tonight. Um, yes, I had Tyler Glass now, and he got me a negative 13 fantasy points. But guess what? We still fucking cashed on everything. I had a 183 points tonight in MLB on FanDuel with a negative 13 from my pitcher. If he would have done anything, I would have been, you know, easily 210, 220, 183 fantasy points tonight um, on FanDuel, MLB, with a negative 13 pitcher. Just let that sink in. It's crazy. But, uh, yeah, no, so Biber, um, definitely think somebody that we can look at at an 8,600 price tag. Um, you know, the guy, he's been pitching well on the season. Strictly a GPP, but with some upside. You got Castillo going against um, the Padres. Castillo, Castillo in his last three starts, he had two monster ones. Uh, one with 11K, 63 fantasy points. Another one with 9 and 54 fantasy points. But then you got one in the middle of those where he only got one fast punch and he got blown up. So um, the guy's definitely hit or miss. But in this spot against San Diego, he definitely has a strikeout upside. I think you could look at him. Now we're going to catch him at first base. First, we'll start with Goldie going um, against Animal Sanchez at home. He's three for eight with two stolen bases in his career. So look at Anthony Rizzo going against Steven Strasburg. Um, this Cubs stack, I definitely think they're going to be more popular um, then they usually would be against Strasburg because he has really been struggling. And Carnacion batting in that cleanup spot, going against Sam G, uh, Sam 
Gavagilio. Gavagilio. His name always gets me. Um, but yeah, so I, I like Encarnacion, especially, you know, it's kind of, he used to be Toronto for a bunch of years. Going back to Toronto, I definitely think this is a game he can get up for and uh, he can have a solid outing. Um, just a smoke in the other dugout going against Shane Biber. Um, I definitely think that uh, Smoke could go yard on this one. Um, you know, this is a good spot for him. He's been up and down on the season. Uh, but I like him in this spot, though, definitely at home. And lastly, we can look at Eric Hosmer going against Castillo. Uh, you know, he's pretty much our best hitter in their lineup. He bats in the heart of the order. 3000 very fair price tag. In Cincinnati, which is actually a hitter's park as well. Solid spot for Hosmer. Second base, we'll start with Daniel Murphy going against um, Strasburg. I mean, you got to definitely like him a little bit. Um, you know, Daniel Murphy, since going to Chicago, swinging a solid, solid, solid uh, bat. And, um, yeah, so, no, so I like me some Murphy. He is priced up. Uh, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I don't think that uh, – He's a bad play at all. You can look at this guy, um, Urias for San Diego going against Castillo. Um, the guy's actually been swinging a pretty good bat since uh, being called up about 10 games now. Um, you know, in Cincinnati, good hitters park. Definitely I like him. Scooter Jeanette, the highest priced second baseman, but he's been swinging a crazy good bat. Um, you know, in two of the past three games, he had, he has three home runs. I'm sorry. He has three home runs in the past three games. Um, you know, and so, I mean, the guys, he's just on fire. He had one, two, three, four, five. Before last game, he had five straight games with at least two hits, um, one with three hits. And, I mean, like I said, monster. Um, he's having a monster, monster run right now. Um, Jeanette, good play, especially at home going against Eric Lurie. Even though it's a lefty-lefty matchup, um, the pitcher just isn't a very good pitcher. And I definitely think that some Cincinnati guys could get to him. Um, Guriel going against Shane Biber as well, batting um, the top of that order. He hit a home run today, has some upside, saw a play. Third base, we'll go Jose Ramirez going against Sam Gavigilio. Um, you know, this guy's an MVP candidate. Anytime he's on the slate, you got to look at him. Um, we can look at Suarez, another guy going against the lefty. Um, you know, just like I was talking about Jeanette right now, you can look at Suarez going against um, Lore. Um, for the Padres, saw a spike. Look at Will Myers, 3300 Very fair price tag. Two for three with the home run in his career against Castillo. Rendon going against Strasburg. Um, you know, somebody that you can definitely look at. Um, you know, I like both sides of this Washington and Chicago game. Um, I do like some Nationals a lot as well. Um, Chris Bryant going against um, – Chris. oh, Chris Bryant going against um, – uh, Strasburg, I'm sorry. Rendon is going against um, Hendricks. There you go. I'm sorry. I got mixed up. They're right next to each other. Yeah, so Rendon's going against Hendricks. So I do like Rendon uh, more than I do like Brian going against um, Strasburg. But both those guys are in play. And then lastly, actually, that's all I got for third base. That was my five plays. Shortstop, you can look at Javier Baez going against Strasburg. Lindor going against Sam Givagilio. Um, Turner going against Hendricks. Um, solid play right there. And lastly, if I want to save a little um, – I should not really even save a little bit of money, but you can look at um, Diaz for Toronto. He's been swinging a really good bat. He's going to be very low owned for GPPs. Outfield, we will start with um, you know Bryce Harper. Five for 16 going against Hendricks. AJ Pollock, just too cheap, 3,200. Going against Animal Sanchez at home. Juan Soto, another national bat going against Hendricks. He's two for three already in his career. Brantley going against Sam Givagilio. Um, solid play. You can look at Adam Eaton going against Hendricks. Four for 10 with two doubles. Um, Souza Jr., only 2,900. Um, has some good numbers. Um, in his career, get Sanchez. He's four for nine with two doubles and a homer. And lastly, we can look at Billy Hamilton. Uh, probably going to be batting in the top of that order at a only twenty seven hundred price tag. I mean, get you you know stolen base upside anytime he gets on base. Um, so I think he's a very fair price tag. Somebody you could consider. 
yeah, and that's kind of why I'm out with this video. I mean, just trying to keep it short and simple. Um, you know, going to play a little bit tomorrow, not too much. Going to get a little bit on football as well. Um, you know, check out everything we got for NFL right now. It's going to be very exciting. The optimizer has been doing very well for MLB. So I'm excited to see how it goes um, with the NFL for sure. And, hey, any questions, hit me up, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at RotoBeast, um, or hit me in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.